see you guys. We welcome to the second part of the video about quantifiers, okay? So today we're going to have a practice review and we're going to work on your student book. So here we go. Would you mind to open your student book, please? On page uh, 38, okay? So if you're ready, we're going to start here now. Now, on exercise number one, we're going to work about the... The sentence that you think is not correct, okay? But before to start, I wanted to check that we don't make a mistake. And here we go. Uh, I have some answers, but I wanted to take a look to get it, okay? I wanted to take a look to get it. Okay, now it's time to start the class, okay? Now, here we go. The number one, I want to give you just a second to read the sentences. And we're going to think at the same time which is the correct answer. Or we think is that incorrectly, okay? So I'm going to read the three ones, okay? Letter A, B, and C. And my answer is going to be, okay, my driving test is this not correct because you talk about this afternoon. And when you talk will, it's so far. So my answer is going to be this one, okay? The number two, the letter B is incorrect. And I'm going to tell you why. Because he's the man which went out. You don't have two options. You don't have two options, so this one is not correct, okay? The number three, the answer could be the number one. I'm going to say the number one. Why? Because there aren't no tickets left for the concert. Mm, in this case, aren't no tickets is not means it's not correctly because if you talk about the world, it means you don't have to use that, that uh, consecutive or a completed form, okay? Now, the number four, the answer is gonna be, let me check, I think it's the funniest movie I've ever seen, and okay. Number four is the letter B, once again, it's not correct, okay? I think it's the most funny movie I've ever seen. Mm, now, remember that we talk about the person perfect, and the time clauses is not correct, okay? The number five, it says letter B, it's after midnight, should I call you, Cal? Or after midnight, now I see that. After midnight, do I call you? Or so that means you don't want to call them. So the answer could be in number five, letter B. Okay? The number six is going to be, let me see. No, it's going to be the letter C. Okay? And number six, it's going to be the letter C. Okay? Why? Because uh, um, Jack does work as an account lives in Sydney. Um, that is not, it doesn't make sense, okay? The number seven, the answer is gonna be, let me check, letter B, okay, it's correct. This new apartment isn't an office uh, for all people, uh, this is not correct, okay? Isn't enough, okay? So if we talk about the new apartment isn't enough, mm, no, remember that we got uh, to talk about it clearly when we talk about enough, okay? So number eight is going to be, let me see. Yes, A. It's gonna be A. Why? One of the expensive. You see, this expression is incorrect. Okay, so you have to use mass. Okay, so now let's continue with the next exercise class. So we're going to have about this one. We're going to talk about this one about exercise number three. Do you remember that we have our relative clauses? So we have to underline. Okay. Underline the correct answer. So the first one I think is going to be the plane where uh, the number two it says which okay which has over three hundred thirteen. Okay, it's gonna be which okay. The number three is going to be let me see or in this case it's who okay. Uh, number four uh, is going to be let me see it's celebrating. I'm going to this. I'm going to do this one okay. Um, number five is going to be, let me see, uh, okay, when you started to say something, you have to start with one of them, okay, one, one of the others, okay, number six is going to be, who, if we talk about in the 60s, it's about people, and number seven, okay, they are going, if you have a plan, invite your related friends, it's a plan, okay, so it's not closing, okay, so number eight, youngest. I feel it's youngest grandson. You can also mark it down. Okay? Number nine could be he's going to. It's better to say he's going to. And the number ten, I think it's going to it's gonna be few. Few. Okay? The number eleven is gonna be, let me see, much or lots.